HoneyBook recently released a brand new feature that will completely change the way that you automate your business. It's called Conditional Logic. And in this video, I am going to share with you how you can use this feature to personalize every step of your client's journey with ease. So let's go ahead and let's jump into the video. Okay, so I'm right here inside of my HoneyBook account. I'm under the automations tab here. And what you're looking at is the new automation conditional logic setup. So your screen maybe at this time may look a little bit different. But once you are switched over to automations conditional logic inside of HoneyBook, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create new automation. And I'm going to just basically walk you through just so you can see exactly what conditional logic is and what that means, but how you can go through and set it up for yourself. So the first thing you want to do is you have your automation name, of course, just name your automation. So I'll just put test, test one, and then you're able to go through and set a trigger from the sidebar. Now you'll notice that there are a couple more triggers in here than there was before. So for example, you have Calendly, you have inquiry. So this is going to be like your contact form, your lead forms you have based off of session time. So whether a meeting starts in schedules, you have different file types and questionnaires. You have bookings, so based off of payments and contract sign, and also based off of projects where it's before project, before it ends, when it moves to a different state. So there's a lot of different triggers that you can play around with this to really go through and just customize the experience that you give to your client. So just for sake of this, I'm just going to use a contact form is submitted. When I do that, it's going to ask me for the project type. Now, this is going to be pulled from your your settings from your HoneyBook account. So these are the settings that I personally have. And let's just say for sake of this video that I'm going to keep it on all project types. But if you want to basically customize it even more, you can put it for the, uh, for different project types. So like you can do like one, if I were to do HoneyBook Assistance, where then when people fill out the form, if they choose that HoneyBook Assistance option, then they will get a different automation. But for this tutorial, let's just do all project types. And we have that set here, right? So we have it set for contact form and all project types. Now I'm going to hit this plus sign. This plus sign is going to give me some additional options. So you have here is the action. So we did the trigger, which is someone going through and they have completed a contact form or submitted a contact form. So what is the action going to be? Now there's various actions that you can do. These actions are similar to what was on the current HoneyBook automation. So you would select an option. You can do send an email. Do you want to send a file with an email? Do you want to create a task to yourself? Do you want to move the pipeline? So you do have those options, but you also have options such as going here and you can wait. So wait allows for you to basically put, well, basically what it sounds like, it's a waiting period. So maybe you don't want the next step to happen yet. You just want to put some wait time in between that step, like let's say a day or two days, and then and do that next step, if that makes sense. And then you have condition. So I'm going to just go ahead and click on action first, right? So I'm going to do an action. And let's say after someone goes through, they have submitted this contact form for one of our services, then we are going to send an email. It's going to bring it up. Well, what email do you want to send? So under the email option, you have various emails. These are the emails that are inside of our account. We have some of them that were from our previous automation that we have that we do need to go back and set up in this new automation system. We have those numbered and we have tags and things like that for them. So we know what they are. So let's just say, for example, I'm going to use this particular one and you can choose whether or not you want to require approval before sending, but I'm going to leave that off. I want to go ahead and send it out. So I have the contact form was submitted, and then we're going to go ahead and send out an email. Now, based off of this, so let's say in this particular email, I just used the, the first email, but let's say in this email, what I want them to do in this email is I want them to go through and in that email, the contents of this email. So if I were to hit preview on this email, it's telling them to book a clarity call, right? That's what this email says. It says, hey, book a clarity call, right? So based off of that, I can then go through and hit this plus sign and I can add a condition. That is what's new here with this new HoneyBook automation is adding in conditional logic. That means, hey, if this person, so I can set the logic and then they can go through this yes category 
or this no category, meaning did they do the thing that I needed them to do? So when we have this, when we add it, I'm going to take this off and do it again so you can see it. When I hit the plus sign and I hit condition, now I can set the condition. So select the condition. So basically the condition is what happens if it is met or if it is not met. So I have different options. So I have like session was scheduled, file was viewed, file was completed, first payment was made, invoice paid in full, contract signed, questionnaire was submitted, tax was completed, right? So in this particular email, I'm asking them to go through and schedule a clarity call, which means it was a session was scheduled. So I need to know, did they actually go through and do the thing that I asked them to do in that particular email? So the session was scheduled. So on this section here, this next block says for session type. So what session type did I want them to do? So it has all the session types that are checked off, right? But I don't want them to schedule any session type. I need them to go through and select the clarity call session type. So I'm going to uncheck all session types and I am going to look for the one for the HoneyBook clarity call, which is here. Okay. So I checked that the HoneyBook clarity call. Now, what I can also do is I can also set a time frame for this condition. So how long do I want to give them to actually meet that condition. And if they don't meet it, then they'll go down this no category. So I am going to set a condition. I'm going to check it on and I'm going to say you have two days, but you can change it from minutes, days, weeks, months. You can change it however you want. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to put two days, right? So now we have our condition. So if they do this condition, what do you want them to happen? So this is saying condition. Yes, it was met. If they schedule that um, clarity call with me, they're going to be taken down this yes category, right? They're going to be taken down this yes time, this yes frame here. And then what do I want them to do? So boom, yes, they did it. Okay, then maybe I'll send them another email and maybe just saying, hey, you know, thank you. This is just a default one, but thank you for going through and scheduling the clarity call with me, right? And so maybe that's what I'll do with that. But what happens if they don't? If they don't, then maybe under the no category, so after two days, if they still haven't scheduled this clarity call with me, it's going to be a no, and they're going to go down this no path. So I'm going to set a condition, or excuse me, an action that if they don't schedule that clarity call with me, I want to send them an email too, but I want to send them a follow-up email. So I'm just going to go to the first follow-up email that I see. Um, I'm going to just do that one. Let's just say, I think I have a honey book one in here too. Uh, let's see where my honey's at. It's a clarity call. Okay, here's here it is right here. Discovery call. This is a honey book. That's where my little bees are right there. Honey book follow-up clarity call, right? So this email is actually a clarity. This one is a follow-up. Following up on your honey book services. And I'm resending out this clarity call email, right? So now, as you can imagine, and I don't want to activate it yet because I'm going to go back and change it a little bit just for when we actually set it up for ourselves. But just imagine what you can do with this now. You can really go through and personalize your experience and automate and streamline your business even more because now you when you don't have to, you can still set your tasks like how you were maybe doing before to go back and check to see if they did the thing that you wanted them to do. But now you don't necessarily have to do that as much. You can actually go through and set up these conditions and now you can go through and automate it even more. Okay, so let me know what you think about HoneyBook's new conditional logic feature. And if you're just as excited as I am to go through and start diving in and using this feature. And in case you're new here and you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Kaniqua. I am a Squarespace website designer and HoneyBook strategist that helps solopreneurs and entrepreneurs with small teams streamline their businesses and show up professionally online. So if you like this video and you like topics like this, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel because I will definitely be dropping the jewels with no gatekeeping on this particular channel channel. So let me know what you think about the HoneyBook conditional logic again inside of the comments. And if you don't have HoneyBook, but you would like to give it a try, I do have a 30% off link in my description box along with my free HoneyBook guide, which gives you the five first things that I think that every new user should be doing 
when they get started with HoneyBook. So you can download that from the description box. And until next time, keep learning and keep growing. And I will see you in the next video.